So, a few days ago, a friend and I were out riding. I was on my beloved XT660 and he was riding one of mine uh, CRF's 300L. And we were on a single track, a bit too steep and gnarly, and he crashed. Not a hard crash, we didn't think much about it at the time, but what happened was that his uh, gear lever hit the ground in such a way that the, it got stuck. We couldn't shift gears anymore. We managed to limp the bike back home safely and then proceeded to lock ourselves in the garage, turn on the cameras and waste the rest of that sunny afternoon getting greasy and attempting to fix the thing. Hello adventurers, my name is Diogo Guerra and this is Off-Road Of Course. As some of you guys have noticed, it has been a while since my last video and I am very sorry for that. But truth is, I have had so many guests coming for my adventure tours and for my training days that I simply didn't have the time or the creativity to work on new videos. So I guess in a way we can say I was a victim of my own success. Well, my most recent guest was Stuart, an old friend that in the past 8 years flew to Portugal at least 5 times, at least 5 times to ride with me. And How did this happen? I saw you lift your leg and then you disappeared from my mirror. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Not bad for a man your age. And this time we decided to go on a recon mission to, you know, explore new tracks to add to our collection. Well, and you know how these things go, in one of the days he was going up a gnarly single track, he fell down, the lever got stuck, we had to come back home and attempt to fix it. Where is the hammer? Um, right now I don't think I need the hammer, soon, soon. Is it a problem that uh, other people have had? Uh, actually, yes, it seems to be a common problem. So the clutch lever, if it gets a hit from the side, so usually on a drop, it can happen that uh, so the, the, the force applied on the spindle will make the spindle move inwards and bend some part that it's on this side of the engine. It's not a, a, a broken engine, but it's probably a, a ruined weekend, isn't so, it, Stuart? Yeah. A ruined weekend. Was it a difficult trail when Stuart had this problem? Oh no, it was something very easy. Any half wit could... could... <laughs> I'm going to drain the oil uh, because we need to remove this lid, the, the, the right side of the engine, let's say. So there will be some oil coming out now. That's it. So on this side you've got the water pump as well. Yeah, so now I have also to uh, drain the coolant remove the, this, this the water pump. I had no um, idea you were so qualified. I'm not. You're just a guy with a GoPro. Yeah. With more balls than brick, I guess. Let's see. So, Diogo, looks yes. like you've made some progress now. Yes, so I think I drained most of the coolant. This is the water pump. John is about to arrive, and so I want to do this before he arrives. Yeah. I'm not sure why. If I was a wiser man, I would wait for John so I could do this but, you, but you're a proud man. Yes. If I get rid of this, probably everything will be easier. Ah, see? Oh, yeah, yes. of course. Amazing. 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 That was this a small thing. Amazing. This is a technique I learned with the Touaregs in Morocco, which is you always open the engine with the bike dirty. For good luck. Guys. Preferably facing the wind. <laughs> I wish I was one of those YouTubers that has always everything clean, you know, and everything seems so right. <laughs> I can already see the comments. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just kill that engine, it will never work again. Look, engine. Oh, there's a spring. Oh, Look. I recognize that yeah. part. It's and a this, spring. And a tube. A tube. But I see the thing we came here for, which is this plate here. Ah. This plate is the thing. Hopefully I'm just gonna push it and everything. I don't be really believe that's going to happen. Do you think you'll do that before John comes? Mm, I'm happy now. <laughs> Tell me. So, so, so yeah, so, so what happens on this bike is this... The... Dear God, sure. yeah. how is this going? So far so good, and John didn't scold me on anything. Yes, yes. Yeah, he's beginning. 
maybe this you know. So on the other side, the spindle is of course inside this sort of, not a gasket, but a, a seal. Yes. Otherwise the oil would come out. Like, is that seal gonna just gonna let the thing? Oh yes, yes, it will. Let yeah, it yes, of course, of course. Yeah. You should even clean it, not to pass dirt in the seal. Ah, ah, cleaning. Yes, that's a very important part of this. See, this is this is why some people are professionals and others are the guys with the camera. This, this, this. After cleaning it, the trick to remove the spindle was simply to slightly rotate it down, just enough for it to clear the clutch disc basket, and then pull it out. You've got the important part out. Yes. What thing. are you looking at? So, as you can see, these two teeth, let's call them teeth, th this one is clearly more open to the side than this one. So this one is like pointing up in a way, oh, and this one is bent. Uh, so I'm going to use the vise. Please okay. follow me, my dear assistant. My... It's amazing that the, the stride on the other side of the gear stick mm -hmm. has bent it so much. Yeah. It wasn't too hard to straighten up that shenanigan just enough. And then we tested it on the bike, the gears were going up and down, however I could still feel a bit of a clankiness in the mechanism, so we decided to call Honda and order a new spindle, uh, you know, a brand new. It's uh, 80 euros, so not terrible, not great, and I can keep the other one as a spare. Well, and this is it, guys. I hope that this video was useful, especially for you guys that own CRFs 250 and CRFs 300L. This is a thing that can happen to any of you. Uh, and so, if you found it useful, please don't forget to like, to subscribe, to hit the thingy, and to share. See you next week, and hopefully, and happy rides! Thank you.